Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Wednesday. Today we're getting a new pet on our farm and we are so excited. Sophie and I are out here waiting. It's being dropped off. We're so excited. We're already outside. We're already waiting. So just to give you guys a little bit of background information, this little pet is a rescue. I need to prune some trees. <laughs> so she's a rescue. We weren't expecting this particular pet we were expecting another we are still getting another just not yet not till probably it gets a little bit warmer maybe may this one is a rescue that that we were asked to take and was already looking for one of these animals anyway so when we got asked to take her i was like oh, of course we are still finding lots of things around this farm in fact now that it's spring we're finding more things than ever before i found a little basket in here that looks super cute isn't that so cute? I could use that for eggs. I could clean this and put our eggs in there every morning and bring it back out because right now we just carry them in our hand. Sophie, look, a little basket for eggs. Isn't it cute? No. I could even clean it and then put it on my counter and put eggs in it. That's cute. Pig. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute. You're so cute. She's like, I don't like this. <laughs> Do you like her? I love her. Yeah, she's really cute. <laughs> Look how little they are. <laughs> So we tried bottle feeding them and they're like, you know what it's like to bottle feed when they're with their mom. They only want the mom and they're, oh, oh, they're all, so oh, he's so beautiful. Little. Isn't he yeah, beautiful? Like his confirmation. She's beautiful, but he has really good confirmation. She, that's a she? No. Oh, he. I don't know why I call it a she. It's just my wishful thinking, but look at the blue eyes and he loves everybody. If you sit down on the ground, he'll be right in your life. Okay, you guys, meet Posey. This is Posey Pig, and she is just getting used to being with us. So she's a rescue. She got kind of ripped away from her family, which is never a good situation. You want to try a little apple? Be really careful with apples with pigs because apple seeds can be toxic if they eat too many. And we're going to be really careful about her weight, but I'm just going to use treats right now to try and bond her with me because this is what she really needs right now is to bond. Pigs are really special in the fact that they bond really deeply with their owners and it can make it really difficult for a pig when they get rehomed. So she also has left her litter mates, which is really hard for her. And my sister brought her over and from the time she, she first gave her to us and we carried her around with us, um, she settled so much fast, like she settled so much better. She's learning really, really quickly, but it's just gonna be a few days of her getting used to us and her figuring out the other animals. So she is gonna be really nervous and really scared until we socialize her. It's a huge, it's a huge, it's a, such an important thing. She was held a lot as a baby, um, so she's used to people. It's just, she's not used to us. I suspect that she'll get used to us really, really quickly. My sister has a pig that we will also be getting in a few months when it's warmer. He's been an indoor pig this whole time and she doesn't want him to just go straight out to the, to the barn. So he was worse than this little pig getting him settled in. But once they get, when she gets settled in, she'll be amazing. So we're just going to go slow. We're going to potty train her. She's got lots of water. She had a big drink. We're going to be really careful with her diet. We've been researching pigs for a long time, but my sister is such an invaluable mentor for us with pigs. She's had pigs almost all of her life. And she knows everything that there is to know. And so having her by our side is really helpful. So Posey is eight weeks old exactly to the day, I think. She's eight weeks old. She's missing her family for sure. When my sister arrived, we took her um, to see the baby goats and we took her around to see the horses because she wanted to see them before she left. So we were carrying little Miss Posy. Hi, Posy. We were carrying her around with us. We just kept her on our lap and it really was, um, and she was settled really well. 
But when we got to the horses, you guys know horses sometimes are really nervous about pigs. What about this? But sh but Storm loved her. Storm followed us everywhere. Every time she made a crying sound, Storm was like right on top of her. He put his nose on top of her little head and he was trying to tell her that he everything was okay. My sister was videoing it because she couldn't believe how interested the horses were. Oh, Storm loves small animals. She wants you to be her mom. Good boy. Pet him, Sophie. Where were you rolling? Storm really wants this baby. He's following me everywhere. He's like, I'll, I'll take care of you. Watch. To next week, this pig will be on Storm's back. Storm is really upset that the pig is upset. She's just getting used to us, and he's just following her everywhere, protecting her. He's such a good leader. Everybody likes her. Except for Penny and Willow. They're the oh, look, show Penny and Willow. <laughs> They're like, no. Nope. Good girl. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, you guys, watch the an apple out of my hand before, and now she will. So cute, posy pig. Aww. Anyway, I don't intend to use food too much with her because I want to really be mindful of her weight. My sister is so careful with her pig's weight, and I want to be as well. But right now, it's better to bond with her as quickly as possible than to let her be stressed. Don't bite me. She's so cute. I'm obsessed with her. I'm obsessed with her. Isn't she so cute? I've heard really awful things about pigs. Like I've heard people say awful things about pigs. But many pigs are so much, are such an amazing pet. They can be super destructive, much less so than like a bigger pig, but they can still be a little bit destructive. They get into stuff. They're very food motivated, as you can see. Little Posey is so happy with me now. <laughs> anyway, she's only eight weeks old. She's gonna be in the house until it gets warm enough. And we're, we'll be getting a boy that uh, my sister has, that my sister rescued and they won't be together until she's until probably August so Sophie and I will have a chance to make her into a wonderful pet all right little missy that's a, that's a little that's enough apple for you that's enough <laughs> but look at how much happier she looks so sometimes they get a little goo in their eyes my sister usually cleans their eyes every morning and she was cleaning her eyes yesterday but she's really stressed right now so I'm gonna wait until after we bond a little bit more by tomorrow, she'll be a lot more settled. Oh, can you get out? So the dogs are a little bit confused. I have a friend that has a pot belly pig and she roams their entire farm, not even any fencing. She roams their farm day and night, sleeps in a stall has all of her blankets and all of her hay to keep her warm. And I'm super excited to have little Miss Posey on our farm. I can't wait to see her roaming around the barnyard. Um, because she's pink, she's more susceptible to things like sunburn. She's already taken over the dog bed. <laughs> Good girl, Posey. She's smaller than Ellie. It's definitely hard. Definitely hard to see how big she is on camera, but she's she's way smaller than I thought she would be. Come here, Posey. She just kissed the cat and it was the cutest thing I ever saw. <laughs> I don't know where she came from. 
kind of turned me upside down. I just don't know what to do. I want to spend the night at hers and bring her one of my t-shirts so it smells like her perfume. Now I really get what the love songs are talking about. And I just want to tell her how I feel, scream it out loud. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart... All right, so this morning I was at the doctor and Sophie called me and said she was locked in the living room because of why? Well, I thought it was a different animal. There was an animal in the fireplace. So one thing you guys might not know is that no matter where we live, birds always come to us, always. We always have birds in our house. The same kind of bird too. Is it the same kind of bird? So anyways, it was stuck in this pipe. So when we got home, Sam tried to get it out, he couldn't. Now it's in the fireplace. <laughs> oh my gosh. Gabby, come hold your dog. I'll hold my dog. I don't know if this is good luck. I think it's good luck. Woo, woo! <laughs> Not good luck. <laughs> Where is it? Oh. Close the door. Close the door. It's a big one. Molly out. We got the pig out, out here. Ruby, get out. That's so cute. Ruby, come back. I'll have her, and within a week, she'll be my best friend, you guys. So before you guys come for me, I know that pig pellets are designed specifically for. Uh oh, she's peeing on the rug. Wow, she pees a lot. I'm gonna have to wash this rug now. Okay, so there's that. But before you guys come to me, I'll get her potty trained onto a pee pad. I'll, I'll lock her in the other room so she can't run around where the rug is. No, that pig, pel pig pellets are designed specifically for pigs, especially as they're growing and babies, they don't need any other food. Unlike goats who have a high need for minerals, goat pig feed is designed specifically for pigs and has everything that they need in it. Um, the only reason I'm going to use a little tiny bit of fruit right now is to get her socialized to me and trained to me and, and so that she feels comfortable because I hate that she doesn't feel comfortable as she eats my rug. Ellie, good girl. Yeah. That's not to say that she won't be getting any fruits and vegetables from us. She will be, but we'll be very, very careful with them. Um, we don't want to overfeed them. And just give her fruits and vegetables and reduce her grain a little bit because everything she needs is in the grain. So right now, while she's tiny and while she's growing, she's going to get only grain with occasional treats of fruits and vegetables. And that will increase a little bit as she gets bigger. But we're going to be careful with her diet, like I said. All right. Let's take a look at her. Probably a little baby. It's the young bird. Don't go in fire pits. You know, she's got a purple neck. Do you see it? Purple neck and purple head. Do you see it? Yeah. So cute. You're cute. So cute. All right, let's see if we can fly her away. Well, I don't want to throw her. Heart is beating fast and you're sweating. And you can't stop looking at her smile. Then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. Something about the way she laughs And the way she always dances When she thinks nobody sees And when she's gonna miss her soul I tell her, baby, please don't go I think you should stay with me And I, I really get what the love songs are talking about Oh, and I just wanna tell her how I feel Scream it out loud have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love That's how you know you've been in love